By the year 2050, the world's population is expected to reach more than 9 billion, and that's causing major concern for farmers here when it comes to finding ways to feed the future. Yeah, that's why it is important for farmers to know what to grow and when. Sunrise reporter Roland Rodriguez joins us now live, and uh, Roland, talk to us about the help that they're getting in determining how to do that. Hi, good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. Many local agencies are helping our local farmers through what they call crop trials or crop performance testing. These tests are designed to help farmers and crop advisors compare different crop management strategies. Uh, crop trials, or otherwise maybe known as performance tests, or a, a measure of uh, different hybrids from different companies that uh, we test in the same location under the same conditions to, to see which one of them uh, is suited best for our environment. So, uh, we test for grain sorghum hybrids, we test uh, corn hybrids, and we test cotton varieties. Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Agent Bobby McCool says plant protection is another key part of the program. All of those variables go into to yield, and, and uh, that's the reason we do them side by side, and we, we replicate them uh, at a certain location normally three to four times. That way, uh, none of them are given an unfair advantage, and, and uh, it, it's just a, a way to, again, to, to measure a, a hybrid and its ability to produce in the environment that uh, we're in. Technology is helping farmers get the job done more quickly, but the cost to be a farmer today is more expensive, so every penny counts. These, uh, these performance tests or crop trials are designed so that uh, our producers have the ability to make good decisions about the various hybrids that they want to plant. McCool says providing farmers with local and unbiased year results on seed varieties sold in South Texas is the focus of the program. Most of the consumers that uh, are not in rural America don't realize all the things that go into to, uh, producing more with less. Uh, that's one of the things about these tests. We're able to, to uh, test uh, whether they're, they're, they have the ability to stand up during uh, harsher times, if they're a little more drought tolerant, uh, even if they're somewhat uh, aphid tolerant or, or insect tolerant to certain things. And that their corn and sorghum crops are the best they've seen in more than 10 years. Now let's head back to the studio and check in with Ashley and see what's happening now. Ashley. 